Hello, it is Tuesday, June 7th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. We have a debut puzzle today for us, a Tuesday, um, Tuesday crossword, and this debut Tuesday edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Skella Chicken, Kathleen Quinn, and, as always, the inestimable Hood Monster and the invaluable Timothy Mark. So thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for directly supporting this channel and helping me um, make this a sustainable part of my daily work. I do very much appreciate that, as I appreciate the contributions of everybody who has um, become a patron. If you'd like to do so yourself, you can join the Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash daily solve, where for um, a few quid a month or the equivalent in your local currency, you can um, get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And at the benefactor level, you also get that daily solve, uh, let's check the crosses mug. Um, you can also, um, for free, join the Daily Solve Discord chat community. That's linked in the description field underneath the video. You get an extra channel with a Patreon subscription, but other than that, it is totally free. And it's a nice place to uh, hang out with other people who watch this series and solve uh, puzzles constructed by them, even if you're interested in that. Okay, all that said, let's solve the Tuesday puzzle. So it's um, an early week puzzle, so it is a themed puzzle, but it still should be fairly approachable. Like I said... This is a, the debut for Carly Shuna, the constructor, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving. Get out key. Well, it, it sometimes does this. I think it's the escape key on the keyboard, which, I mean, you use it to get out of full screen mode most often these days, I suppose. Um, vivacity. Esprit, maybe? Not sure. Let's check some crosses here. Uh, actor Maneo, Sal Maneo, was in Rebel Without a Cause, right? And to make a goofy appearance in someone else's picture is to photobomb. So this is actually, this Esprit is looking okay. But let's keep, let's keep getting the crosses. Uh, Nevermore speaker in poetry. That would be The Raven by Edgar Allan Poe. Um, what is it? Spoke the Raven, Nevermore? Spake the Raven, said the Raven? I can't remember. Angers could be Ayers. What was this one? Much of Chad and Molly. Oh, the Sahara Desert. That makes perfect sense. Uh, how, how tuna or steak may be served. They may be served tartare, so um, raw and finely chopped. Okay, litmus test. That's straightforward enough. And a honey source is clover, clover honey. And what about this? Hurry up soon? Not sure. That doesn't, I'm not very confident in that. What about this? Baseball stat abbreviation. Oh, it's not RBI, despite the presence of a B. And that's the, it's the main baseball stat I've learned. I'm not sure. Tizzy could be in a do, a whole tizzy, a whole to do, a whole a do. Oh, I need that. Gimme, maybe. Give me the answers to this crossword, please. Black. Um, I was thinking Eben with that B, but it doesn't fit, obviously. Um, not sure. What about this? Rocky outcroppings are crags, mountainous crags. And hurry up, oops, hurry up. Uh, it's okay, so it certainly wasn't soon. So come on, I suppose. And these are both sort of, um, slangy is not the right word because hurry up isn't particularly slang, but they're both casual exclamations. Hurry up, come on, if you see what I mean. Baseball stat. Okay, still don't know. What about this? Oh, I didn't see this. Watercolor and oil for two. Those are media. Each one is a, um, a painting medium, so pluralized, they are media. Okay, black. Why don't I see what this is? Um... Sorry, that might be very obvious. Twins organization. I assume this is this is a sports team. Is it MLB baseball team? Maybe Black Sable. Is that right? And then oh, and also in a text could be BTW. By the way, multi-post rant online. That would be a tweet storm. I think 
uh, as in a, a rant posted to Twitter in particular. And that, oh, that's connected to the theme. And is this as well? It is. So photo bomb, tweet storm, I see. So there are, there's some kind of, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, explosion or, or cataclysmic event associated with uh, actually various me- forms of media, I suppose, speaking of that. Anyway, let's get back to the crosses. According to, could be as per, as per instruction, according to instruction. Six-pack contents, you could have six-pack abs. And a light piano piece could be a sonatina. So um, the sort of diminutive, a word that is... Uh, created as a diminutive form of a sonata, which is uh, a more substantial piece of music. Drags out, prolongs. Hope we don't prolong this solve too much. Doesn't seem as though we will. We're moving through it fairly quickly. Subway line. There's a question mark. So something, uh, maybe a line as in something stated. So maybe something the announcer says in a subway system. Um, not sure. Pharmacy pickups could be prescriptions, which are represented by the RX symbol, RXs. Ingredients and laundry products, borax, you see that sometimes. Little brats could be snots, little snots, irritating imps. Subway line, oh, maybe it's Subway, the sub sandwich chain, the submarine sandwich chain. Eat something. Eat freely. <laughs> Sitcom ET from the planet Melmac. It must be ALF, which I think stands for artif no, not artificial life form, alien life form. Um old TV star whose haircut was inspired by Mandinka Warriors. Oh, Mr. T. Yes, he had that um uh, I mean it's this, it's it's whatever this was called, but it's that very distinctive kind of stripe of hair. Annoying complainer, a whiner, someone who whines. Ocean beasts that lack bones, surprisingly. Oh, I'm prepared to be surprised by this. But I'm not sure yet how to be surprised. Existential dread could be angst. Oh, this looks like eat fresh. That must be um, a marketing line used by Subway. Okay, would the spinning ball, spinning beach ball of death might operate? A computer crash? That's a, um, on a Mac computer. Does it, do Macs still do that? I'm not sure. Uh, it was once the case, perhaps still, that um, the, the Mac cursor would be that little sort of beach ball looking spherical thing that would spin around. And if that happened for too long, you suspect your computer has crashed or frozen. Short pants could be trow. So in this case, it's not referring to pants that are short, but rather a short short word for trousers. We're abbreviating trousers to trow. May, who said, I'll try anything once, twice if I like it, three times to make sure. Uh, that sounds very much in the style of May West, um, noted Hollywood quipster and wit. Fancy could be... If you, it could be you fancy something, you you desire it or like it. It could be fancy as in uh, extravagant or ornate. Um, I'm not quite seeing it. What's the big idea? Hey, sort of often used in the same way. Um, oh, posh, as in, okay, so uh, in this case, it's fancy as in the meaning of high end. Um, particularly affluent person might be posh or fancy. Take to a higher court could be to appeal a a court decision um, at a a higher level, higher higher judicial level. Uh, Wads is paper. So wads could be a noun. It could be a plural noun, but it could also be a verb to crumple up the paper. Uh, She wads up the paper. She crumples it. Watching the big game on safari, maybe? You you are literally, the the question mark indicates it. a pun or wordplay, which often means um, read it very literally. If one is literally watching big game, big game animals, one might be on safari. Uh, Schwarzenegger familiarly was, uh, well, not was, is Arnie, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And a fiver is sometimes referred to as an Abe 
uh, in reference to a U.S. $5 bill portraying Abraham Lincoln. Greyhound Station Freebie. Um, Greyhound is a, a long-haul bus company, so maybe a bus map, maybe? Did an impression of, mimicked somebody. Here we've filled an answer. Rank below corporal PFC private first class. That seems entirely plausible. And we've got this little now self-contained uh, southwestern corner of the grid, so we might as well finish it off. To bail on plans without is to flake out. To barely manage without is to eke out. Oh, that was a fun cross. A brief comment to an audience is an aside. And a public health organization is the FDA, maybe, Food and Drug Administration. And actress model, Bo Derek. That name is familiar, so that must be right. Oops. Okay, what about this? Message sent to many recipients, an email blast. All right, so here we had a photo bomb, a tweet storm, a computer crash, and an email blast. So the computer sort of breaks the, the chain here. They aren't necessarily all forms of media, but they're all technology related. They're all sort of communications technology related, I suppose. Photography, tweeting, the computer more generally, and email. Okay. So is that a, 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 what would these be together? A tech boom? Big times in Silicon Valley, or a hint to, yes, a hint to 1725, 35, and 49 across. I bet it's tech boom. Oh, no, it's not. It's not tech boom. Oh, that's so disappointing. Um, oh, wow. It really, it really seemed appropriate. Ah, what a shame. Okay, let's check the crosses. Suddenly showed happiness. You lit up. An impressive venue to sell, sell out is an arena. Okay. Um, title equivalent to dame is sir. It's the male equivalent of dame. Nova Network is PBS, the public broadcasting system in the U.S. It's a science show. If something goes bad, it rots. And to coagulate is to clot, I suppose. It's in a blood clot. Ingredient in lemon curd. Um, do I have something wrong? Maybe this isn't clot. Ingredient in lemon curd. What am I missing? Well, let's start with a Y-O in four words. What about this? Ocean beats beasts that lack bones, surprisingly. Sharks. Oh, wow. That is surprising. <laughs> That's absolutely fascinating. Really? Oh, egg yolk. Of course. There we go. Yolk. It is clot. Wow. That's so interesting about sharks. Uh, crispy tortilla dish is a tostada, maybe. And a tuber type is a taro, maybe. Is that? Oops. Oops. What did I do? I hit the F1 key for help. Sorry. Um, tuber type. Is a, is a taro a type of tuber? I'm not actually sure. Let's delete that. Anatomical ring could be an areola. And blocked as a river could be dammed, um, as in beavers damming a river or people, I suppose. Uh, degraded could be eight. Oh, uh, hmm. Midi, many a mid-easterner um, could be Arab. Would make sense regionally. Um, degraded, abased, maybe you sort of degraded your own reputation. You abased yourself. Foamy part of uh, an espresso would be uh, crema. The um, I think it's kind of the oil fats, the oils ex um, expressed from the coffee beans that that collect at the top of an espresso and sort of look like a kind of cream or foam. Okay, good buddy speaker. A sea beer? Is that a, is that a radio term, good buddy? Is that? I'm not really certain about that. Oh. Oh, it was tech boom. It was just pluralized because it was big times in Silicon Valley. That was, that was very silly of me. So the reason I didn't, I saw that it was big times, but I interpreted that as, oh, big times. It's a tech boom, if you see what I mean. If you can imagine saying that colloquially, it, it, Big times, even though it's plural, can refer to a particular time, if you see what I mean, as in happy days, uh, that sort of thing. 
So it was tech booms. Okay, well, I'm retroactively less disappointed in myself. Public Health Organization. Oh, we had another one of those earlier. This would be the CDC, Centers of Dis uh, for Disease Control and Prevention. And then Rose or, Rose or Lilac. Is a hue a color? So let's just check the crosses before we fill this in. If something is not deserved, it is undue. I was worried that I was uh, going to have an, an undeserved... Well, I was worried... Never mind, that didn't really work out. But <laughs> this whole digression is, is undue and undeserved. Um, uh, Indiana Pro Basketballer is a pacer, I suppose. That sounds right, pacer. Could be a team name. And that's the puzzle. So, uh, really great... A really fun little theme there, and actually, this was this is this is extremely similar to yesterday's puzzle in the sense that, well, no, I suppose it's not technically. We could, you could solve tech booms based purely on big times in Silicon Valley. I was going to say that, like yesterday's puzzle, you you do need to do some parsing of the theme in order to arrive at the revealer answer, but you don't technically in this case. Big times in Silicon Valley would be a perfectly valid clue in its own right to tech booms, but it's it's similar to yesterday's puzzle in that we had some nice little, uh, we had essentially a series of straightforward but clever and thematically appropriate answers all wrapped up with a straightforward kind of pseudo pun around the theme. So we had the photo bomb, the tweet storm, the computer crash, the email blast, all of which uh, are tech booms. Very clever. I think that was well done. And as with yesterday, I think, again, a, a relatively approachable puzzle. I don't think there was anything in there that was could be considered a particular sticking point. I'm not sure, but I, I don't think so. Um... We did have some proper nouns, but oh, I guess Arnie and Abe, I don't know. I, I think Schwarzenegger is about as ubiquitous as you can get. So I don't, in terms of a sort of celebrity name. So probably not much of a concern. Anyway, uh, there we go. A, a really nice debut puzzle, I think, from Carly Schooner. So well done to her. And let's now, um, I don't, I just have a, a couple of minutes. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly. I'm just going to read a couple of clues or, or rather, uh, comments from yesterday's puzzle. Now this I'm very glad to see. I'm, I've been absolutely remiss in determining this for myself, so I'm glad that Dances with Logic has finally done it for me. Looking up the Hawaiian word for the state bird found some missing accents that help with pronunciation. The bird, a an occasional uh, inhabitant of the New York Times crossword spelled N-E-N-E, -N -E, um, has the straight bar accent above each E and is pronounced nay nay. The straight bar accent is known as a Macron. Um, sharing a name with the French president, I suppose, Emmanuel Macron. Uh, so anyway, the nay nay, I really must remember that in the future because I have embarrassed myself, I think, on a few past occasions with that particular word. So thank you, Dances with Logic. And then um, ben Word, Ben, sorry, Ben Ward confirms Isaac Asimov did indeed write the Foundation series as well as iRobot. Of course, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, and uh, also <laughs> fills in my memory lapse regarding the latest Perry Mason actor, who was Matthew Reese, who, as you mentioned, says Ben Ward was also in the excellent series The Americans. I absolutely adore The Americans. I think it's an incredible. Uh, television program, and Matthew Reese was great in it, and was was very good in Perry Mason. Um, I think he's Welsh, maybe. And uh, Ben Ward also uh, gave me the correct, correct pronunciation of Nene. Anyway, thank you to both of them. So that's that for today's puzzle, the Tuesday puzzle. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll be back tomorrow for the Wednesday puzzle, when maybe we take a little bit of a step up in difficulty. I always sort of think of Monday and Tuesday as being fairly similar. It's at the most difficult level and the, and the least difficult level of crossword solving, I think it can be very difficult to distinguish between fine gradients of difficulty because at that point, I, just a particular clue you might happen to know in or, or not know rather in either day is, is going to be, I think, more significant than, than the amount of difficulty tuning that can really go on between those two days. So Wednesday, I always think of as the day when 
the puzzle starts really ticking up a little bit in difficulty. But anyway, that's just my that's just my interpretation. Who knows? Uh, I hope you join me for it. Um, please do subscribe to the channel if you've been enjoying these ser this series. And I hope to see you again for the Wednesday crossword. But until that point, please do have an excellent remainder of your Tuesday. Take care. Mm -hmm.